All right, guys, today we're going to build this great little ottoman project. It's built from white oak lumber and it's covered with leather upholstery. We've even got some pyramid shaped deco tacks to finish it off. Stick around, we'll have a look at the process step by step. Now obviously we've made the mortises before the tenons here, but sometimes the challenge is trying to fit the tenon board into the mortise when we haven't yet cut the shoulders. We've only cut the cheeks at this point, so the trick is to use the narrow rails into the wider mortises to size the tenons. Use a scrap board to establish your rip fence settings and your dado blade height until the tenon perfectly fits in the mortise. From there, you'll feel confident to move on and batch out all of the tenons for this project. One interesting thing to note, the tenons for the curved rails are actually offset a little bit. The top shoulder is very, very narrow. The bottom shoulder is a little bit deeper to make the parts fit. And this is just to allow about three quarters of an inch of the leg to protrude above the curved rail so we have room for that upholstery. Remember to mark the tenons where they would intersect at the top of the legs and we can take that over to the miter saw and just trim those at a 45 degree angle. After we take care of this quick step, we'll head over to the band saw and cut those graceful curves on the underside of the upper rails. From there, there's just a little bit of sanding to do and we'll ease all the sharp edges at the router table. Now in my case, I'm actually matching the finish of this ottoman to an existing stickly bow arm Morris chair. This is a Onondaga finish that we're matching it up to. And to start with that, we're gonna use a trans tint dye in a brown mahogany color. We'll wipe that on and give the ottoman a quick seal coat with shellac. That'll just seal in the previous dye layers. And then the following step will be adding the gel stain. And this kind of gives it a glazing effect. The color we're using here is a candlelight to match the finish on that stickly chair. And the final step is just adding a lacquer top coat. And 
then we can move on to the upholstery. We'll just use some natural jute webbing, stretch that down with a webbing stretcher and go ahead and attach it with upholstery staples and add a little burlap on top. If you want to learn about all the details on the layering and foam that goes into this sort of upholstery project, search for an Eastwood Ottoman video on YouTube. You'll get all the specific details for this sort of project there. But one of my favorite things to do with a bandsaw is cut upholstery foam. With this one inch upholstery foam, you can tilt your table to 45 degrees and easily cut a nice back bevel on the foam, which will make a great transition as you install that foam on your project. All right guys, there you go. A nice little Ottoman project that you can build in a long weekend. Hey, if you've got a large rocking chair or Morris chair around the house, this Ottoman is definitely next on your to-do list. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.